Hello, friends. This is Aman Khan from Ipro Realty. I just meeting after uh, I've actually I was in um, kind of vacation and uh, I just came back. I still my throat is not good and feeling a little bit cold. We are using Zoom, uh, to, you know, uh, just to give you some update regarding the market and recent uh, prediction from the CMSC, and uh, just wanted to share. Uh, why Canadian real estate market is really hot. So people always say like, you know, why, why like, you know, the, the prices are still high, especially in GTA, right? So GTA is, is one of the place anybody's coming to this country, they want to move uh, to GTA because of the opportunity and uh, compared to other, other city, uh, you know, of course, of, 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 Canada, of Canada, like Edmonton, Alberta, and Vancouver, and other places, like, you know, but GTA is a, is a, is a multi-dimension, like, you know, there's an opportunity for everybody. So that's why every age group, every new immigrant, they just like to move to, to GTA. And uh, they just wanna, you know, as soon as they get settled a little bit, you know, uh, after some month, few months, and, you know, maybe, you know, one few years, they just wanna buy a house. This is kind of dream, right? So, and, and that's the reason, you know, uh, and we don't have that kind of supply available compared to the population. And uh, there is always issue with the, with the inventory. So that's also like a supply and demand issue. And that's why the, all the houses is coming in the market, into the market, but is going very fast, maybe in a day or two, maybe a maximum in a week. And again, is going like with a multiple offer. That's because of the you know uh, supply and demand kind of issue. You know, a lot of people even you know um, you know they're waiting that you know the price will go down just because of the COVID, and price did not go down, right? And anybody was you know waiting. Now they are came out to the market and they also like to you know buy purchase their house. They like you know um, now they realize that you know uh, waited few months, few weeks. You know they kind of like you know. Uh, uh, make them lose some money in terms of the price. They could have purchased those property in uh, you know, maybe 40, 50,000 less than now. So anyway, that's one of the reasons as well. Like, you know, a lot of people are coming out. They realize that, you know, they, they, they should purchase now. And the another thing is, is the interest rate, guys. The, you know, interest rate is amazing, amazing. Lowest in the history. Like, is, is, I never have seen that, you know. Like, last my 22 years in, in real estate business, I'm investor by myself. I have never seen this kind of amount going into the principal, believe me. In these days, the amount going towards the principal is almost, well, if you just, suppose if you're just paying $1,000 for the mortgage, the $550 okay is going towards the principal it was never happened before so you can imagine how much money you can save next five years even though the price doesn't go up price does not go you know increase the price but the, you can imagine the saving you're going to have and backlog to immigration that's another issue just because of the covid uh, people are just you know they just hold back and maybe some kind of you know, visa restriction and uh, so you know people are just holding for now and believe me all of a sudden it's going to be flooded once the immigration full flash immigration is going to start and you will see that and you will see that you know the canadian government they just announced okay you used to have 250,000 uh, people every year anyway right now they are saying like you know they're going to have 400,000 every year so you can imagine like, you know, the prices and the demand and supply and, you know, those all the equation. More people are working from home. That's why people are purchasing houses in these days. You know, they don't have to travel. They are saving money from the, they are not leasing, you know, any new car anymore. They are not paying money for the insurance, auto insurance, right? They are not paying money for any kind of commuting anymore. They are not paying money for the gas anymore. So those all this saving is a, is a big saving by the way uh, let me tell you that if, if you not have car and you just working from home you are saving at least you know at least 12 to 1500 dollar per month okay and people are willing to pay those money those saving towards the mortgage okay and they can stay in bigger house better house better living space more space for their kids their family 
that that's also one of the reason okay another thing is is social distance right a lot of people are scared like from the covid and corona those kind of thing it is a matter of few months one vaccination will start happening everybody will start get, getting the vaccination hopefully the mark you know the the, the more demand uh, will happen then you know it's going to be less supply so we can imagine the price will go up more and more and more okay i, I just want to say that you know uh, especially uh, parents like me and you and if you have any kids like you know i have four daughters like you know uh, my uh, the elder daughter she is 21 years old she going to the university but when it's come to the like you know uh, where she going to buy a house i would definitely am going to help her out to purchase a house close to my house i don't want my kids to go away like you know from too far from my house a lot of lot of reason have, you know the price is going up and uh, you can eat i mean let me tell you that gdp of canada okay gdp of canada is is mostly generated by the real estate okay so you can imagine the government also is as a behind the real estate you know they want this real estate market to be stay stronger but saved up they want to be you know that real estate to be affordable as well so that's why a lot of people are like uh, purchasing a house in cambridge area ajax area london area right the, the, the affordability is a little bit better than gta but again uh, you get what you pay for right so that's uh, you know the whole point so you know guys i just wanted to um, give you a quick update regarding the market and hopefully we can catch you again with the new educational video and uh, then i will update you more information about the real estate market okay guys you take care stay safe and you take care of your neighbors your family member and see you next week have a good one bye bye